Welcome back. Welcome back, everybody. Uh, come on, man. Come on. This is my first week back. Don't do this to me. Ninety-five. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is the Faculty Lounge Podcast. The Faculty Lounge All right, Podcast. Episode 65. Yeah. We back, we back. All right. And John we back. Jay over and here. We back. back. Back like I never left nothing. Super <laughs> we missed you. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Hey. hey, look. I heard. Oh. oh man. Yeah, man. You, you can't just be doing that now. Look, 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 look. I had I had uh great Paul Conrad over here, man. I had a great reason why I wasn't there. So uh you guys know. And let's right, just leave it at that. But, but, I must the say, reasons. I am overjoyed that y'all niggas could go ahead and do the show. Like, man, this is what a gang is. Well, we're not a gang. We're just an organization. <laughs> Did you just we're, 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 we're not even an organization. We're, we're just a tribe. We're, we're a tribe of tribal tribesmen. <laughs> <laughs> yes. This is what tribesmen do. Big tribe when one tribesman is gone, the other tribesmen do what we'll tribesmen try. do. Yeah, we'll try. Tribunal. Yeah, yeah exactly. We'll so uh, yeah, I'm glad to be fucking back. This room is hot. Uh, I left my headphones and my wallet at home, so I'm ready to go. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, I'm. I'm Anonymous here. Breezy. How yeah. was you guys this weeks without me? Uh, yeah, man. It's been a long time since I seen you, man. Did you do anything fun? Uh, man, my I've been um I've been attempting to take my son on the CTA train ride. Oh shit! What but, line? But what every day. He gives me a different excuse. Like for three days, he begged me to go on the train. He's scared. And then now that I'm ready to go on this train ride with him, he come up with a grand excuse of why he we need to not get on the train. What today. is this what excuse? I must say? know. <laughs> like I must know what this five year old boy told you to keep you from getting him on the train. Like there's been like three. It's been like three days now. Dad, we gotta get cookies. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it was like no, but I'm playing the guitar right now, so we gotta play the drums, and then we gotta get something to eat. <laughs> All of that. <laughs> yeah. They so like, man, I don't want to get on this train, so I need a whole agenda <laughs> of activities. What line was you gonna get on? Though? See, so he he go to school by the brown line. Yeah. So okay. I'm supposed to just get out of school, go straight to the brown line, uh-huh. and get on the brown line train right there, there, Armitage, and. You know, just that's a pretty safe line. Yeah, I was gonna say, don't get on the green line. Don't get on the. He's red been line. on the green line. Oh you know, my! Remember, we went to the Cadillac Palace. Yeah. Oh, we all right. The, yeah, right. 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 I seen you dipping apples. Mm-hmm. What Yo, that, that be like? I, I was sure going to say something about that. That's Yo, what's up. A, That's the I'm life. A, I'm yeah. a parent. Like, yeah, man. I'm a parent to the two. Like, this drunk, <laughs> 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 See? See? fucking cursing, yeah. hard ass, like, person that I am every day. Melts and disappears. Oh, my God. I'm not yeah. even that. But, like, I live a double life. Mm-hmm. Like, with my kid, I'm like, I call him sir, and I call him buddy. Um, <laughs> yeah, he's like. Man, so, all right, so I was at work the other day, right? Uh, yeah. And, like, this dude comes in on this, like, business call. And he's like, well, you know, we got to send these units to the storage. And we got to woo, 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 woo. And then the dude on the other line said something. He was like, all right, well, listen here, buddy. <laughs> and dude on the other line was like. Close the door. Dude on the other line was like, bro. I'm not your fucking buddy. Damn. <laughs> you heard that? Yeah. <laughs> he wants to sit alive. <laughs> and he was like, <laughs> dude was like, no, I call everybody buddy. And he was like, no, I've called people buddy before, and I know what that really means. <laughs> I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> my guy off. You embarrassed him in the gas station, man. How you doing like that? Yeah, no, I'm like. He's like, Mommy, can I do this? And I'm like, Yes, buddy. Yeah. Come on, buddy. Come on, sir. Please go brush your teeth, sir. Like, and this weekend, so I'm, as y'all know, I told y'all, like, I'm an arts and crafts parent. So yeah. we yeah. did a. I see you. I see you. We made uh, caramel apples. Yeah. We yeah, did that yeah, at the, home. And I had the Oreos. The Oreos. And and the, yeah. I made them Oreos. Yeah. 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 Sprinkles. Somebody yeah. took their time and smashed them all. I did. You put the care in to make these <laughs> candy coatings for these apples. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we did Reese's Pieces. We had uh, we had peanuts. We had like all kinds of stuff. So Mama we had that apples. <laughs> 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 I tell y'all, 
I had to slice some apples myself. Like, I had to put them through the apple cutter myself. Like, uh, man, effort. that ain't shit. But the point is, they came whole, nigga. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I, I undid that shit. Like, Hell no. So we did that. And then the next day, um, we did, like, make your own pizza. Mm-hmm. So we, that was lit. Um, yeah, make your own pizza is super lit. Yeah, it was great. Funny. Everything everything we did this weekend was under thirty dollars yeah. and uh Oh yeah, that's good. That's yeah, nice. Yeah. It's Saving good. is better than the shit that you end up doing. Yeah, yeah. man. And I yeah. mean they they fucking enjoy it. He didn't so my son doesn't even like caramel. We just found that out this weekend. He's not even into caramel, but mm-hmm. he enjoyed the activity. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So that's cool. That was cool. And he made caramel apples for everybody in the house. He didn't make none for the lounge. He didn't, he didn't. but it's okay. It's a whole lounge, you know. Yeah, I'll make you know. sure that he like makes you guys like stuff next time. Yeah, yeah you know we live in a modern society. We're gonna you know? do <laughs> s'mores. Refrigeration. We're gonna do s'mores gotcha. in two weeks. All right, so look. Um, so <laughs> check us out. All right, so let me tell the audience why I wasn't here last week. Okay, uh-huh. I have successfully entered into the world of cohabitation. Cohabitation with the butters. <laughs> so last Sunday, is this what we're calling her? Yeah. Okay. So yeah. last Sunday, um, I was moving the butters out of her crib, man, and it was a hell of a day. If you remember last Sunday, it was rainy and weak as fuck outside. So we spent the whole day looking for the damn U-Haul truck. She live on the third floor. That's really the fourth floor. Yeah, so I've been there, man. Before. So we moving that, couches, tables. Y'all was supposed chairs. to have like a, I'm like, you're like supposed a to system. Yeah, I, no, I did, but y'all we had was to supposed to have like a wheel system that y'all just mm-hmm. pull that shit. Hey, fam, 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 fam. Hey, I watch a lot of PBS. Fam. That shit ain't as hard as it seems. Fam, first of all, we <laughs> niggas. Second of all, <laughs> <laughs> this was last minute. All right, we found two of the homies chilling. <laughs> two they of the said homies. they wanted some money to move some boxes. So they did it. <laughs> But yeah, finally started cohabitating. So all this parenthood shit y'all be talking about, I'm in. Y'all can't hold me back no more. Man. I'm in. Right? Can we just fuck you and fuck you. I'm in there. I'm in. I don't John mean Jay. fuck you. I don't mean that about John y'all. Jay. I love y'all, man. I'm glad yeah, man. to be back. I miss you fuckers, man. Yo. What? We fucking. <laughs> 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 you leaving us? <laughs> <laughs> all right, man. Okay, yeah, right, so right. enough of the niceties. Let's, let's, let's hurt in. some feelings and let's <laughs> get this pot on. Yo, yeah, if you a uh, sensitive yeah. ass bitch, you got to bounce today because yeah, today man. it's going to get gritty. Mm. But if you're not a sensitive ass bitch, Stay please like and subscribe. Hey, look, I want the sensitive <laughs> ass bitches to subscribe too <laughs> and leave them and dislikes comment, and them negative comments. Comment because y'all, y'all be talking y'all shit. Hey, shout out hey, to buddy. Ariana Montanez, man. She's been leaving a lot of comments and watching a lot of videos. So hey. I just wanted to shout you out. You know what I'm saying? You are officially a part of the lounge. Uh-huh. Yeah. Hey, Lit, welcome up. to the break room. Yeah, yeah, welcome. The break room. Bring donuts. Oh, that's cold. The break room. We might have to talk about that off the air. Hey, hey. That, 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 I like that. Okay. <laughs> no, my mic picked that up. I heard it. <laughs> <laughs> we all did. <laughs> Yeah. All right, so where y'all want to start, man? Man, let's start. Uh, you want to start with uh, so socks? yeah, I was going. I wanted to start there. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Shut yeah, yeah, man. yeah, man. That's Do the fucking Luronkin. Yeah, yeah, man. R.I.P. to Luronkin. Yeah, funny story. Weeks ago, weeks ago. Okay. All right, two cup breezy seen Belly for the first time. This was what two weeks ago? No, nigga. This was this week. <laughs> He died the next day. The, the day after I I got her to finally you, watch Belly. He's New been begging pass. me to watch this for two week, two mm-hmm. years. Like mm-hmm. for the whole time we've known each other, he's been like, "Yo, you need to watch this. You, you need to watch this." You needed to watch Belly though. And but uh, now that you've I seen watched Belly. it, and my man died the next day. And I shouldn't have watched like a G it in the movie. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. So I saw it, and um, I had so many questions. I was like, "Yo." <laughs> right. Hey, hey, real talk. She came to me the next day asking questions about Belly. Mind you, it's like it's like seven o'clock in the morning. He like, bro, what? I'm like, yo, Jonathan, 
It was basically Did like a DMX what? DMX really find peace? <laughs> <laughs> like, yes, he was crying when he hugged the minister. Did, is Tommy going to jail for life? Yes, he uh. is. <laughs> was this a plot? Did they want to kill a minister? They're destroying black men. That's the point. Yeah, I was shook. <laughs> yeah, man. it was like a two and a half hour Hype Williams That was great. Video. Mm-hmm. That was great. I but watched it, it at had the like a story. Yeah. Like, it was like the embodiment of Illmatic. Yeah, like there was it all had, the lyrics from it, the albums, it, right? Yeah, yeah, it had Illmatic in there with the oh, shorty yeah. on the mm-hmm. stoop smoking the blunt, that telling them about the world. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? I appreciate that so much. Like, and I'll keep watching it. Chicago's own Crucial Conflict was in Belly. Oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. They the ones that uh, got into it with... they. Sent him to get Method Man. They poisoned his, uh, put the shit in his drink and oh, all that. In Nebraska. In the, yeah, in the strip club. Oh. When Method Man was in the strip club with oh, them. That was Crucial shit. Conflict. Oh, that shit. That was with uh, Rico eating the banana. That was con- Crucial Conflict. Man, Bro, shouts out to Kilo, all, man. Yeah, shouts out to Kilo. All the Kilo fucking been hair. been in the crib before, man. Yeah, Kilo be around. <laughs> all the fucking hair in this movie? I'm like, do this nigga got a press? <laughs> <laughs> this nigga like seen a hot comb? All the crinkles yeah. in there. Like I was at the, I was getting my <laughs> hair done. I was at the shop watching the shit, and my stylist was like, "That crinkle not even even." Uh, I was like, "Nigga, what?" Not <laughs> even crinkles. Bruh, wild. So, so look, right? I I saw Lou Rankin in Belly before I saw Top Shotters. Mm. Top Shotters came out way after Belly. I oh, but see, I didn't know that. I thought Top Shotters was older. It's obvious because there's a Jay Z song in Top Shotters that came out after Belly. See, you one of the people that watched Top Shotters like forty times. Can't get yeah. I watched Can't Top get Shotters twice. Hey, that's one of that's one of the only <laughs> movies I like. I think you want to be Kimani Marley just a little bit <laughs> on the lowest key. <laughs> nah, nah, <laughs> on the lowest key. It's but, possible. But yeah, man, Lou Rankin. Ooh, a lot of people don't know Lou Rankin was like real live legendary. Like, dude, yeah. was the fucking man. So, so after I figured out his name was Lou Rankin, I was like, oh, I've heard his name in all the Jamaican songs, <laughs> like yeah. in Lou the Rankin. world. Lou Rankin. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, so like, tell us about this legendary man. Some something, something that we don't know about Lou Rankin. Something outside of he was in Top Shot as a belly. Like he was actually like the man. Like he had like Lou Rankin was the Jamaican Boosie. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like when I think about Boosie, I think about a man who bought two million dollars worth of land for two fifty and then put a ten million dollar house on it for the other seven fifty. <laughs> the other, other 1.750. Yeah. So he got a $10 million house for $2 million out in somewhere that it costs. Definitely a real one. You know, mm-hmm. and everything he say, only thing, I, the only criticism I got about Boosie is, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> he spends a lot of time with Vlad. You know what I'm saying, and oh, I, I'm not a fan of Vlad. Oh, man. You know, yeah. he be doing stuff. <laughs> you know, he be doing but yeah, rest stuff. in peace to Lou Ronkin. But yeah, Lou Ronkin though he was a he was a definitely a um, you know, people always throw around the community activist word and mm-hmm. the hey this person does great stuff and gives back to the community. But I feel like that's what black people have always done, and it's that's one of the easiest things to intercept. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's like as a big corporation, ah, this guy is doing that. Well, let's let's write him a check and right. make him disappear. Make him yeah, or make him give out these uh woo 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 brand whatever. Yeah, and whatever he gives oh, out like is gonna way. make him disappear. <clears throat> mm-hmm. Like mm-hmm. you're gonna fizzle him away like a, like somebody like a Nipsey, you know what I'm saying? Who was really coming up and doing it on his own, really giving out all the game and all the the um. Or giving out the blueprint. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like giving it out yeah. like that. Boom. I'm giving the people what they need right now yeah. as opposed to, hey, you're still struggling, but read this book, <laughs> and in <laughs> 10 years, you probably won't be struggling no more. Right. Yeah, you I know? still wake up and be like, fuck, neighborhood gone. Yeah. Uh, that's I mean, crazy, you, got a, you got his face tattooed on you. I would hope so. Yeah, but man, it's never going to, like... But low-key, like, when I... So, I got these headphones, right? Mm-hmm. And I went and played basketball like three days later, and I put on the victory lap. And I just, okay. I ran a full court by myself playing victory lap. So, do you, you said you now understand. So, is the music better for you now? Victory yeah. lap? A little, see, see, so, so this week, 
all right, that's what I've been doing this week. This week, I've been struggling with being, like, broke versus being poor. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, am I poor or am I broke? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like I've been poor for a minute and not realized it. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And I'm converting right now. Like, I'm, I'm like, my girl, she just got a gym membership. Shouts out to her. And hey. she's, like, changing her whole mental... <clears throat> Approach to life, the way she's thinking, the way she's eating. Trying to get that richness. You know what I'm saying, yeah. yeah. And I'm like, man, I'm, I'm poor, like, and I need to switch that over to just being broke. You yeah. know what I'm saying, like, I'm broke right now, but I have the ability and the willpower <clears throat> to, to not be broke in a minute. Hey, my nigga. Right. You know what I'm saying. Look, all it take is one change a day, man. That shit is easy as fuck. A lot of people think that. You know, to change the way you are and the way you be and the way you live, in, it takes all of this, you know, magnificent uh, uh, astrological shit, right? You Bullshit. change one thing, Bullshit. one Bullshit. thing at a time, man. You drink yeah. two Coca Colas a day, start yeah. drinking one and a half Coca Colas a day. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And do that shit until you're used to it and drop the other half, okay. man. Yeah. Real. That's good shit. Hey, and it's like 21 That's days. Good shit. 21 yeah. days to build a habit. So. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, um, shit all right. So, speaking about this uh, community activism, um, mm-hmm. how you spoke about Lou Rankin, mm-hmm. it makes me think about our good brother, Uncle Luke. Uncle Luke. Uncle Luke. Uncle Luke, who is responsible for keeping music dirty. Uncle <laughs> Luke, who is the purveyor and the he creator is, of the key. explicit content sticker that is on all music. Uh, right. He created that, like he was, he created the necessity for that. No, he created it because there was a ban on explicit lyrics and rap music. Oh, uh, so he so had he to was put like, that man, on we're gonna put this sticker on here oh. for parental guidance, so I, we can put out whatever the fuck we want to put out. Oh wow! Yeah, so Uncle Luke has been giving back in more ways than one, man. Does he get a check like <coughs> her? No, no, hell no, 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 no. no. Okay. I, I've I've created some, I've but created I was a couple of. So anytime Uncle Luke speaks, we call him Uncle Luke. So this uncle is not a happy uncle. Uncle Luke <laughs> usually comes out to say how we fucking up. So he's hip hop's non rapey Bill Cosby. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so, so so you listened to the podcast last week. Yeah, how we was talking about how motherfuckers got over the music. They can separate the artist from the music, mm-hmm. but they can't separate Bill Cosby from uh, Dr. Huxtable. Mm-hmm. What did Bill say about black women? Because you, you touched uh, on that last week, but I don't know what exactly he So Bill, so, so, I, so on the same unprescribed medication that I put Maya Angelou saying that <laughs> in Ooh, that Lord. speech with, uh, in that interview that with Oprah, crying. I put the Bill Cosby pound cake speech <clears throat> on the Drake pound cake beat. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying, and I let it ride. Bill Cosby was just basically going in on black people, saying, "Y'all motherfuckers need to take care of y'all kids." Because mm-hmm. when I was growing up, black in America, you know I'm saying we took care Old of our kids Bill. and we was accountable, and yeah. we knew you couldn't do something on the block before your mama got off work, and your mama didn't know about it when she got off work. So what's and the problem? Ooh, like, but ain't that the truth? <clears throat> yeah, see, that's see, why I was so saying it's the truth. But we living in this whole feeling society. If it was Fact. so, like, okay. so, so he's telling the truth, right? Mm-hmm. And what got him blackballed was his truth, right? You know what I'm saying? Okay. Like, like you out here being too real. You know what I'm saying? You got too much money. You trying to buy NBC. You trying to fix black people. But look at who you are, though. You know what I'm saying? I don't think that's what got and, him where he is now. Yeah, I mean, it was it was the people. I it was the people, people who have the. I don't think he did it. That's I mean. That's what he's found guilty of. That's why he's <laughs> in jail. He's no, 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 no. He didn't get found guilty of raping people. He got found guilty of raping one person. One person is too many. And a statute to of limitations. That is that's true. That's Pass. true. That's Just true. Saying. But that's also true. <clears throat> so okay. we got to take that nigga to heaven. Let God deal with it. We can't deal with it no more. Mm. If y'all gonna follow the law, follow the, the law. law. But we're not following the law. This is America. Mm-hmm. Right. We don't follow right. the law for the black man. 
No, nah, period. We don't follow the law, period. Like, yeah. I had a conversation with Jimbo this week. Mm-hmm. A long conversation Jimbo, at the time that I was supposed to be asleep. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I, like, picked up the phone, and we talked for an hour. And, um, yes. And, um, <laughs> what should we call it? We talked about the whole Trump, Ukraine, whistleblower coming back to Trump, how, like, that wasn't a surprise. Like mm-hmm. it was like Trump did some. No, nah, Joe Biden might beat Trump. You know what I'm saying? Hell no, ain't nobody beating Trump. So it was like <laughs> Joe Biden <laughs> might beat Trump. That oh, Joe Biden's son did something in Ukraine. The next day, Trump on air, breaking news. I'm trying to watch Rachel Ray figuring out what I'm finna eat for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> and Trump breaking news, breaking to my Rachel Ray, talking about some. Sitting on stage with the president of Ukraine. Yeah. Obviously, he's trying to get some information about Joe Biden's son. Mm. That's the same shit that happened in 2016. Mm-hmm. This is America. Yeah. Like, we are we are run by billionaires. Pretty much. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, you got to be richer than the president to break that's the why, rules. That's why I got so much of a problem with people saying shit like, you're a Trump supporter. Like, this nigga's a fucking billionaire. <laughs> How do you support a billionaire? <laughs> no fucking way. You breathe. <clears throat> well, Literally. I hate, I hate when... uh. I hate when, like, you buy a ticket to a concert or whatever, mm-hmm. and they like, I ain't finna get this person all my money. They already got money. Yeah. Like, shut the fuck up. Yeah, shut up. Yeah. So why, But why do they have money? It's because of the concert that they give. Pretty much. <laughs> pretty much. It's <laughs> not it's like, like you're giving them the money for nothing. <laughs> yeah. They literally had to practice for this shit. It's yeah. not like you just <laughs> see this shit every day walking down the street. Right. Like, it's just... 10 million Chris Browns. Sh- it's, Hell no, I can do a dance. It's seven <laughs> Chris yeah, Browns like, on the yeah. app. Oh, hating that. <laughs> anyway, before we went on this wacky tangent, <laughs> wackiest of we tangents, miss each other. man, Uncle Lou, right? Uncle Lou. The non- hip hop's non rapey Bill Cosby, per se, if <laughs> yeah. you believe that. All right? If Am I covering all that. the bases? If you Am I yes. covering them all? Yes. Okay. So, Uncle Lou, two things. First, Uncle Luke, every time he come out, it's to reprimand. That's why I compared him to Bill Cosby, what you were saying, right? Yeah. Now, Bill, I mean, Uncle Luke is on the war path again because of what's going on with the NFL and the Super Bowl, right? All right. So the Super Bowl is in Miami this this year. Well, this this season. So mm-hmm. Uncle Luke came out saying, firstly, that Jay-Z is the NFL's token black guy, which has been expressed by a lot of people. Hold on. Right. Hashtag. Still nigga. <laughs> okay. So uh, I'm not black. I'm OJ. Okay. I got, I got oh, 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 oh high five. Cause I I got something to say after you done about Jay Z. Okay. So, boom. I I brushed that off. Is all right. A lot of people saying that about Jay Z. A lot of people saying he the token black guy. Cause it's the NFL and all this shit going on, Kaepernick and whatnot. We all know that story, right? But then he oh. brought up the point of. Jay Z being in charge of diversity and entertainment in the NFL, right? Now we got the NFL doing the Super Bowl in Miami, starring Shakira J-Lo and Shakira. Jennifer Lopez. Yeah, okay. Man. This is where I start to rationalize with Uncle Luke because mm. why the hell are like I right, take last year for example, right? It was in mm. Atlanta. Who performed? Oh, Big Boy was Big the, Boy performed, yeah, yeah. Right? All right? So you got Jennifer Lopez and Shakira. Yeah. When you could have Pitbull, who is an international sensation, and Flo Rida, which is an international oh, sensation. Oh, don't get it wrong. Don't get it twisted, Joe. Shakira? Oh, no, no. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying like, anything about them. Shakira is shitting on Jennifer Lopez. Yeah, yeah, I like, know this. Shakira is up there with Pitbull. I know this. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying, why not? Shakira two, might. I mean, Shakira low-key is 10 years in further than Pitbull. Why not two international Miami bred and born superstars that make clean yeah. music? Alright, so this is what I'm going to say about this whole situation. I wouldn't mind seeing Flo Rida at the Super Bowl. I fuck with Flo Rida. I feel like Flo Rida been at the Super Bowl before. I don't know. I don't but know I want to get back to this right here. Right? Okay. So wait, diversity? Are we saying it's not diverse? Are we saying like we're upset with his two choices? No, we're saying what that... What is the basis? No, the word diversity came out because we were saying that Jay Z right, is that's in charge title. of diversity. That's just yeah. his title. That's like yeah. Miss Miranda. I, <laughs> what? <laughs> what about Miss Miranda? That's her job. 
Is it diversity? Oh wow! Something I didn't diversity. bilingual coordinator. Oh yeah, that's what okay. it is. Uh, no, yeah. all right, all right. So by oh, wow, mm-hmm. so she's the bilingual coordinator. Yeah. So white people had to had to hire a bilingual coordinator. Oh no, these in are, Jay-Z they're, they're all, they're all to talk yeah. to. Yeah, no, no, no. Y'all oh, didn't hear Jay-Z. what I'm saying. Oh yeah, yeah. The NFL it. had to hire a bilingual coordinator to talk to black people. Mm-hmm. Pretty much. Is that <laughs> is that yeah. what's yeah. going on here? Yeah. 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 Wow. Yeah. All right, so now the point I wanted to make was that um, Jay-Z, right? Mm-hmm. What we fail to realize is Jay-Z is no longer human. Like, in Greek <laughs> mythology, no, Jay-Z no. is no longer human. Jay-Z is in a world. Jay-Z has $1 in a world where Jeff Bezos has $125 yeah. and Bill Gates has $65. And Donald Trump has nine dollars. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Okay. Like, so like, I got a dollar. I got, got a dollar. dollar. I, I got, got a dollar. dollar. Hey, 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 hey. And then you call him the token black guy. Because mm. guess what? How many dollars you got <laughs> in this conversation? Yeah, that's true. How many dollars you got in this conversation? Man, I don't even have a penny yeah. in this conversation. Exactly. But I was just saying it stood yeah. out to me because whenever I hear Uncle Luke in particular say something about what's going on, you in like black, shut the fuck up. I'm like, listen to this nigga because <laughs> he can say stuff. Right? Yeah, all right, all right. So it just got me looking at things a little closer. Mm-hmm. But am I saying Jay Z is a token black guy? No, because he ain't did shit yet. Let's see what he gonna do. Yeah, he take me in the back and pat me. But I do me about some cat. But I do agree that those are. I'm I'm so tired of these piss poor choices for the Super Bowl. I I'm, see the Super Bowl was never for us. I ain't saying for us. I mean just good artists. No, no, no. <laughs> like I was saying earlier. <laughs> like I was saying earlier. If the Cowboys ever make it back to the Super Bowl, <laughs> I'm gonna go to the Super Bowl with a black, with a with a with a with a OG a White Sox hat on. All right. I mean, here's the thing: right. <laughs> the Super Bowl shows have like they're not like they're not up to par. There were great Super Bowl shows when we there were kids. There were though. great, and I mean, we have like. But now a handful now that we can be like this was fire, this was fire. This right. Last good one and Beyonce, Beyonce was in two of them. Yeah. So now I'm gonna tell you what's going on because I just figured it out. Like just now, right now, okay. like right right so now. So today, uh-huh. as of today, we have the Bears playing the Raiders in London, right? Ah oh, shit. And we <laughs> and we have <laughs> yeah. Nah. And we got Shakira and J Lo doing the halftime show. Uh-huh. The NFL is a worldwide corporation, yeah. and they know that okay, thirty five percent of our money is coming from the United States, but we got this little village over here in Africa, this small town over here in Brazil. This, you know what I'm saying, and who, what's what's number one on their charts? Shakira, you know what I'm saying, London, you know what I'm saying, like J Lo, like J Lo probably outranked. Pitbull, you know what I'm saying, on the on the stat sheet in the money making office when it comes time to make these decisions. That's what I'm thinking, bruh. When's the last time you heard a hit Jennifer Lopez song? I haven't, but there's probably oh, a hit nigga. Jennifer Lopez song <laughs> with a <laughs> reggaeton <laughs> artist or a, a Jamaican artist so or when it comes to or some probably. Some some African artists or some English artists or some Ireland. You know what I'm like, I don't know. I don't know because so, I don't follow J-Lo. So I would argue that as big international I, artists go, there are artists that are better and just as big and internationally known as Jennifer Lopez. There is. And shout out to... I would say have Unwell perform. Uh, nah, I, I, but, but NFL art, NFL... <laughs> American don't NFL know. fans don't know who that person is. Well, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, I mean, I, and I want to say, I, I want to say, I get it. I want to say, like shout it. out. <laughs> I want to say, shout out to the Black Panther. You know what I'm saying? He Wakanda just dropped the new. He just dropped the new album. Right, Negrito. Have Negrito. A, yeah, have you know Akon perform. Like that's man. Look, it. when it's all said and done, a lot of people, hey man, feel the way they feel about Jennifer Lopez performing for the Motown event. She shouldn't fucking do it. Oh yeah, yeah, that yeah. Like that's super that's that's how a lot of people. But that's, that's how what, a lot of people. Feel. But low key, I feel like that's that's the division and the separation that's necessary for capitalism to work. 
know what I'm saying? Like, all the minorities are like, oh, J-Lo, she sucks. Oh, I you mean, know? the only reason and why then, people is, are saying J-Lo sucks is because she's not very good at doing music. Let's see. You know let, let, but let's she's look go- at Jay-Z's but, book right now, though. But then the first, I, I mean, mean, not Jay-Z, J-Lo. Let's look at her book right now. She did the Vegas thing, right? Yeah, she, she did, did just tour. have a residency. Then she did Hustlers. She did Hustlers. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So... Go to the Super Bowl. Like, we got you buzzing. Like, you're selling out tours. Yeah. Uh, you're and you're in a movie that's selling out. At but the J-Lo is up there, though, with Chris Brown and Beyonce. Yeah. Though. J-Lo yeah. put on a show. Like, so we it's can't a sing show. in front like Look, she don't put on a show. Yeah. A lot of people just don't feel like, like she, she can sing. She can't sing. Yeah. But my mama always said, now, nah, this is my mother way back in the day. Mm-hmm. Mary J. Blige puts out great albums. Mary but J just started being able to sing live. Yeah. But, my, sing live. but my mama, you know what I'm saying? My Alicia mama Keys passed away. can't necessarily sing live. My mama passed away 20 years ago, and she said, Mary J. Blige cannot perform live. Uh-huh. Mary and you J just, just said really, she just got there. Bro, you know in the saying? past 10 years, Mary J has really started to be like, oh, I can sing live. And, and, all and I'm 25, true. so I felt this way at 15. Like, damn, Mary and ass can't, and she can't hold a note. And that's why I hold Wiz Khalifa in such regard. It's because I watched a performance of Black and Yellow like two months after it came out mm. and two years after it came out. Mm-hmm. And Wiz Khalifa just upped the live performance mm-hmm. so much that it was like, wow, I have to go see Wiz Khalifa in concert. Yeah. You know so what it's a like, Because yeah, he's mean, good at it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Don't, right. don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. And I want to wrap this up because we... Spent too much time talking about the Super Bowl. But I understand. We're not talking about, don't get it twisted. We are not talking about the Super Bowl. Well, I mean. We're talking about Uncle Lou and Jay Z and what he said and and Jennifer Lopez's ability. We is me. We are not sitting here talking about the NFL at all. So, okay. So, I would say I. I kind of agree. I agree with Uncle Luke from the standpoint of if I got it if Jay Z is the um, the guy that's in charge of this thing, entertainment and and and, and uh, diversity, right? Leave the diversity part to the side. We talking about just no, no, we can't leave the diversity part. To no, the side. I'm. Let me finish. Got finish. Uh, All right. So if we if we I don't want to misconstrue what I'm saying, but if we're talking about entertainment and diversity, because he's hired for both. Can I finish? It's you gonna cent, let me finish? It's fifty cent of the same dollar. So you're not going to let me finish. Let this man finish. All right. All I'm saying is, fam, if we're talking about Jay-Z, um, you know, we're seeing the business mind overtake the cultural mind. So as far as uh the hip-hop culture that he's come from, we're seeing that being overtaken by the business mind. You know, and I think that's part of what Uncle Luke meant when he said token black. Like, you're not going to be black. You're going to be a businessman. Hell no, I'm not going to be black. I got Bro, that a shit dollar. weak as fuck. Look, I'm, no, no, no. I, I am in the room. I'm in the building. See, and I'm not saying it's... I'm you not got $6, you got $9, he got $125. I got $1. And I'm not saying there's nothing wrong with that. Mm-hmm. No, I'm, I'm just gonna, saying it's something to be observed. No, it, I'm... When it's all said and done, because y'all know I'm a ride or die for my man, ho. When it's all said and done, Jay-Z has never, ever, ever had a problem with walking away from a corporation that he feels like is no longer uh, respecting the contract that he has signed. Yeah. He's never mm-hmm. had a problem with that. Mm-hmm. He's always been the one that's like, yo, I'm, I'm the seat at, I have the seat at the table. I'm going to do what I got to do for my people. And if you're not going to honor it, I'm out. Hey, shouts out to Future, too, because I've seen a clip of Future talking about um, how you got it. You are a contract. You know what I'm saying like every mm-hmm. business that you walk into, you basically a contract, and you got to check. You got as much power as the other. You, as the signer, you have as much power as the person who wrote the contract. So don't ever feel like you're doing somebody favors. Yeah, I so know Jay Z sitting at every table like, bro, I'm not doing you no favor. Yeah, bro. like if this ain't no favor. I'm a business the same way you a business. Yeah. I gotta respect my and, shit and, the same way you. And that's do it. okay. Mm-hmm. And I think the point of Luke saying anything at all uh-huh. is for people to see that and be able to separate the musician from the business because your average person mm. can't do that. Nah. You can do it yeah. and you can do it. Nah, see, see but, but that's because we business minded, but look at the, yeah, but the, but so the niggas that still in K town listening to blueprint two, blueprint one, mm, yeah. they can't make that separation. Yeah. So yeah. when they see JLo and Shakira, instead of Pitbull and Flo Rida, they mm. like, Oh man, he ain't keeping it real. But it's like, man, we're beyond keeping it real. So to speak, yeah. we this are. is a whole different thing. 
Only this thing is we're the year real. of the Latinx, okay? I mean, yeah, it, it, it's, it's low key as the decade. You know what I'm saying? These my, these it's a transition. It's like the decisions <laughs> in <laughs> pop culture. <laughs> culture. <laughs> <laughs> Man, look, is that what we doing now? Uh, no. Okay, um, let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> all right, all right. So, all right. That Uncle Luke conversation, I think it was very Where's interesting for us to have it, to see all of our perspectives <laughs> when it comes to this thing, right? So, that's all I got. That's all mm. I got. Mm. <laughs> all right. <laughs> so, I saw, all right, yeah, we've been drinking. <laughs> I ain't but, been drinking. It's Sober October, y'all. Yeah. 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 Sober October. I'm clear. Sober October featuring Two Cup Breezy. <laughs> featuring Two Cup Breezy. OVO, October's very own. <laughs> Go, guys. <laughs> Next. So, so I saw a tweet on Twitter, right? I saw a tweet. Where else do you see tweets? <laughs> it say, did they pay her to kill him? Oh, shit. Like, did you see the father saying, I hope we could be friends one day? Mm-hmm. After. We the spoke on this. Oh, see, I can't. I'm not going to do this. After the that. brother gave her a hug and apologized and, and accepted her apology, after the judge was like, oh. after the fucking courtroom sheriff was fixing her hair, hair after the fucking case, you know what I'm saying? Like, what the fuck is going on, man? Ugh. Oh, my. Okay. Like, Talk so. Shit. Talk your shit. So. We sitting here. I'm all excited. I fucking set the TV. I didn't even know the fucking TV could do that shit. The TV woke me up at a, at a fucking um noon to listen to the American National Anthem to watch football, you know? And the only reason I'm watching football is because Jason Van Dyke got indicted and Kaepernick got it checked and now Amber Geiger, you know what I'm saying? But it's like, <laughs> it's like yeah, I'm winning. But when they walking off the battlefield, they still getting petted. And, and here's your poodle. And here, let me give you your your Garnier Fructis. And your, Garnier Fructis. And, your, and here goes your parfait. You know, like, no. If I win, I win completely. Is that I, your personal I wishes? totally win. You know what I'm saying? Or you don't get none of that. You're a prisoner now. You get treated like a prisoner and you go away. You know what I'm saying? My family doesn't have to feel bad for you for killing me, you know? See, and, and that's, all right, so you you said something very important. You said have to. Yeah. And, I, I don't, I, and, I, and that's I, that's so far from what really happened. The, I, I posted the picture of, uh, first of all, we're talking about Amber Ge- uh, Geiger, the woman who murdered uh, Bodum John in his home while he was eating ice cream. With his clothes about. off, so, very comfortable. So on his couch. Um, what anonymous was speaking oh, hold about? On, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. He was naked. He was naked. He, he was he on was his couch. Naked. He wasn't naked. Having a great time eating his ice cream. He wasn't cream. naked. You sure? Yes. Cause if he was naked, he wasn't naked. That sounds like a booty call. <laughs> he was. See, it I don't sounds do like this, he man. left the door open for her look, to come and murder look, him. All right, let's let's. And she gets let, ten years and the hair done on the way in. So look, all right, what I'm saying is. <clears throat> people people have their opinions about the behavior that went on in the courtroom. Now, what I will say oh, is, I think this that guy, the... This guy right here, man. Hey, for y'all, our listeners. Okay. Ten years down the line, this guy right here is going to be wearing custom-made polo... No, no, no. Polo. Custom-made Tommy Hilfiger suits with the fucking... No, 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 no. The, hey, Tom, hey. Tom Ford. <laughs> nah, nah, yeah. nah. I don't pop Molly. Low key. Yeah. Low key. Low key. I'm going to thought it out right now. I'm mm-hmm. bringing it back. I'm bringing it back to the over 30 crowd. Okay. To the people who probably already knew this, but I I just didn't believe them when they said it. But Tommy Hilfiger is all the way back. And yeah. it's amazing. Oh, y'all didn't know that? I, I, oh, I knew. Exactly. Old niggas, old niggas didn't know that? Yeah, we didn't because we banished him. <laughs> for no reason, too. for no reason, for no at, reason at, all. at all. So we, so, but um, yeah, but this guy right here, all right. man. So the look. words, he's got the words. <laughs> so look, let me let me he's say this. He's got the words. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> let me say this, right? All right. What I will say, it, 
I'm done. I'm I done. hate y'all, man. I'm I can't my, stand I'm y'all. I'm on my anonymous shit. I'm Damn, sorry. man. No. Can I pontificate uninterrupted, please? Ooh, yes. Okay. Mm, words. So here we go. What I will say is the the actions of the judge um may have appeared to be impartial, but that's after the fact. They have um, not appeared to be impartial. I mean, yeah, they 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 have not appeared to be impartial, but that is after the fact of the verdict and the sentencing, uh, of which she had no part. The sentence, yeah. the the sentencing was brought on by the jury, which spoke about why they gave her the time that she received, and um, I'm paraphrasing, but they said they gave her that amount of time because they felt like this was the kind of person Botham was, and that's what he would have did. Right, <laughs> so, so, so we hear that from the jury, and then we hear the testimony from the brother. Now, I look at this whole situation as everybody taking it from a place of vengeance and a a, a place of, you know, generational hatred. Because the main thing I'm hearing is, oh, it's a white lady. White lady did this. White lady killed the black man. White lady did this. White lady did that. Right, which is cool. You can have that animosity if you choose to, but. When people start criticizing this brother for atoning with the death of his brother and finding peace the way he know how to, that's what I got a problem with. No, that's what I have a problem with. The fact that as Americans, black people seem to be the most dangerous, but at the same time, the most forgiving. Most forgiving. Like, I'll give you... I'll give you compassion because that's what my brother would have done as a black man in America. But at the same time, when it comes time to give us compassion, ain't none. Well, you told me something a long time ago when we was talking about how come a white person wouldn't step up uh, during the NFL protest, right? Mm -hmm. What did you say? You said... uh, I said it's money. No, no, no. What you said was if I don't... if Uh, Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If I don't have to say something to keep my position, why would I say anything? Yeah. Right? Yeah. That ain't white people's job to have no compassion because they in the lead. First of all, white people... This is... This this is... It's about to get real wild in here. Now, how long have you been listening? Because this was... I'm talking... This is like episode 12, Mm -hmm. episode 13. Mm Mm-hmm. Damn, way, way something. back at the start of NFL money. Uh, yeah. And this is just 25 wow. year old me, right? Mm-hmm. 74 year old my daddy. Mm-hmm. 62 year old my mama. Mm-hmm. 63 year old my mama. She, she up there. She up there. <laughs> White people are not born with compassion. See, I'm not going to. I can't say that. They either. get taught compassion. They get taught things like that, but ain't no way, mm. ain't no way there can be like so slavery and me, anger and burning down buildings and shooting up churches and shooting up schools and shooting up movie me, theaters me, and killing, killing, killing. Let me ask and you, you where that came compassion. from. Where where does that come from? White people are not born with compassion because I I got a big problem with saying stuff like that. Where does that come from? I just. Having parents who have witnessed that shit off jump. I mean, I've witnessed that off shit. Yeah, I've like, definitely witnessed it. But I don't feel like, that so, way. So, now, before... Now, don't get me wrong. Now, I mean, pieces don't of get shit me wrong. I have, have, I, have <laughs> <laughs> I have white godparents. I got white aunties. My aunties are, like, great people. My great dog, people, born with compassion. And my blah, dog blah. took a white shit last week. But yeah. <laughs> there is a certain level of vengeance that I feel like only white people can reach. I don't know, man, because yeah, most kung fu movies are about vengeance. I mean, <laughs> nah, and if nah. you, <laughs> but, but and if you look at if you look at um, and that's another story for off camera. And if you look at I, once well, once I hit, and if you look fu. at um so called uh so called Middle Easterners, mm-hmm. their level of of uh vengeance, vengeance, yeah, religious bravado, but which comes along with the eye for eye mentality. Is unmatched. So, all right, all right, all right, all right. So, I'm gonna take y'all back to this, to this place, cause it's not, it's not religious bravado. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's more of a, like, you, you know, Iran is like, what? 
a thousand, two thousand years old. One of the oldest. Yeah. Uh, it's very old. Like ancient this, Persian, Iran, Iraq, yeah, and Syria. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Like, yeah. and um, so my little cousin shouts out Robertico. Robert. Robertico. Spell it now. Robert. La Rob. La Rob. La Bobby. He, which one we call it? He um, he broke it down to us from his psychology class in college. Mm-hmm. He um, he was like, um. So, men are worried that women will cheat on them because if a woman cheats on a man and gets pregnant, he'll be stuck caring for another man's child, which means back in the day, way back in the day when, like, Iran was here, but America wasn't. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I would have to go out and get chickens and farm and go hunt for this other man's child. And women are scared that men will cheat because the man might find another woman who he wants to support more than her. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But this is, I'm talking about way back in the day, you know, like like when when you had to go kill. It wasn't no bubble gum in Nike. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like you had to go kill for food. And, when you steal something, your hand get chopped off. Yeah, and you had to go walk for water. That's why to this day you still get your hand chopped off mm-hmm. when you steal some shit out there. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Right. So it's not like a religious bravado. This is like survival. Mm-hmm. Like at the same time that you see a fucking a troop of elephants, uh, a troop of uh, lionesses going out to kill one elephant, you might see an elephant carrying a, a, a lion cub in their trunk walking around to save it from dying, from dehydration, walking next to the mother, you know, like, so it's not, it's not a religious bravado, it's just like natural earth nature. Like, I'm not even gonna say it's not human nature; it's animal nature. Well, I mean, when I when I spoke of a religious bravado, I think I I was referring more to jihad. Yeah, and all of that shit goes back to just being an animal on this planet. Mm-hmm. Like you're just you're just ecological. So I'm not a Muslim, <laughs> so I'm not gonna speak on that. But see that that right there is racist. No, like I the, mean jihad. It, jihadism is a Muslim terminology. Uh, I don't know enough about it to give a full opinion on it. Yeah, see, well, I'm not. I, 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 we just really went right out. So, so <laughs> circle back. Uh, yeah, yeah, please. Um, yeah. Third person. So a lot of people <laughs> felt like uh, black people should not have shown like Amber, uh, or what's her name? Geiger. Amber hey, Geiger. Man, that mm-hmm. video bothers me. So a lot of people shouldn't have shown um, Amber Geiger any compassion. Which I feel like you have to do whatever you have to do to find peace. I don't have a problem with you finding peace. Yeah. Whatever you got to do to do that, that's your business. Personally, could I have done it? No. Right. Could I have physically shown you forgiveness? Could I have what? No. There's, I'm, I'm mm-hmm. very eye for an eye. Like, you well, kill my brother, I got to kill your mama. Like, that's, maybe, maybe I'm that's an what eye it for is. an eye. I don't have that level of maturity or that level of guidance or that level of um, forgiveness yet instilled in me. But you that, know what, though? That hasn't there's happened. A, there's a difference. What I just realized having this conversation with y'all uh-huh. is that <laughs> I loved it just now. <laughs> is that if somebody were to kill your brother right now, yeah, you wouldn't know what to do. That's what I was about to say. Yeah, exactly. But the thing about it is Somebody killed their brother, and it got national attention. Mm-hmm. Like there, like how can you be more grateful than the whole nation loving you, caring loving about your brother's you. death? Mm-hmm. You know exactly. what I'm saying? And really memorializing your brother. Mm-hmm. Like at that point, it's like wow. I, I forgive you is Amber, the least I can do. The yeah. world loves my brother. The yeah. world loves my family. Like this ain't no Nipsey. Like. We knew Nipsey. We right. followed Nipsey. We right. followed Lou Rankin. My right. brother was just you know right. in his apartment. Right. But like, so. I didn't know who Botham John was, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying, Fact. until Amber Geiger killed him. Right. And it was like Let Jason Van Dyke. speak for itself. Yeah, Jason Van Dyke just got popped. What's up with this? Mm-hmm. All right, we got Colin Kaepernick over here. So I immediately attached Botham John to the NFL. To Colin Kaepernick, right. that but that was me personally though. Mm-hmm. Like it didn't have nothing to do with 
this family that's mourning. Right, you know what I'm exactly, saying? exactly. Like yeah. and that was yeah. my personal attachment to the whole story. Yeah. You know right. what I'm saying? And there's millions of other Americans out there who attached Botham John to their personal story. Mm-hmm. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And that's that's the blessing that that created this ability to like forgive. Yeah. And you know? I so, mean that's what it comes down to. So this is this is now I, I like what you said because you just took it out of people's houses and, and put it in the world. Mm-hmm. Mm. Like, man, look, let's get out of your feelings and look at what really happened. Yeah. Right? Now, Breezy, to you, yes. when you speak about this level of eye for eye animosity that you have, mm-hmm. you know, um, that you recognize it is one thing, but there are people in this world that wear it like a badge of honor. Yeah. yeah. And, and, and that is really destructive to it's this really thing we call humanity. So my thing, I could never... Like, if you kill my brother, See, I couldn't and, kill and your brother in return. And, I couldn't kill yeah. your mother. So, but I definitely don't wish you any, I don't so wish this you is, any joy. This I don't is wish what you I'll say to that. Like things like that. This, is what I, this is what I'll say to that. <sighs> it's just, as a parent um, of a five-year-old, no peace is realistic. So oh, check, yeah. so <laughs> so this is what I'm thinking about, <laughs> right? I was thinking. I had to put myself in the shoes of, uh, of his brother and, and one of his family members. Now I I believe I believe in God, right? Right. When I say I believe in God, that means that I think that there is something that created us that is higher than we are that um you know has a uh, direct direct contact and impact on what happens to us on a daily basis, right? Right. So when I look at what happened in that courtroom, I'm like, man, what did God do in there? What did God <laughs> do look inside of that person? Like we always say look at God that's what yeah, I said when I seen him hug him, right? What God look like. So look, right? The same way God worked inside of him, how can we be bold and arrogant enough to say what God ain't going to do inside of you? Period. Man, shouts out to uh, Megan. Because Just God can... Pro- no, you went to high school. You went to high school with Megan. Yeah, I fucked with Megan. And I used to work with Megan. And that was her favorite saying. Shouts out to her. Mm-hmm. So hey. shouts so, out to everybody else who ever left a comment, a like, whoever subscribed to us. Yeah, man, we love y'all. That's and that's that's the truth. This is what we talked about during the week. Yeah. So, yeah. though I'm like, I would want to mm-hmm. deliver harm back. I don't have the heart to do it. Mm-hmm. I can't look you in your eye and hurt you. Yeah. But the universe gonna do it. Yeah. I trust yeah. that, but I also trust like, yes, look at God. Like I find. I find my peace in the Lord. I find my no, peace in the universe. That's the so same thing. When the universe takes care peace, of it for you, you mm-hmm. say, yes. look at God. Mm-hmm. So for the universe to bring you guys peace and for you guys to trust the universe and trust yeah. God and know that like whatever she's done, she has to answer to somebody for it. The truth we shall like may never know, but she has to answer for it. Right. And then people don't, and I think uh, the mistake that people often make is when they see tragedy, they identify with the victim and they try to disassociate from the perpetrator. Exactly. When, when all along, we all people. Yep. All of us mm-hmm. have the same kind of demons that we deal with. They just manifest in different ways. Oh, and, words. and what we don't know, <laughs> what we don't know, what we don't know for sure mm-hmm. is what actually happened. Fact. That's what we don't know. And people attach their, their, um, Racial hatred, mm-hmm. they attach their vengeance, mm-hmm. they attach that sense of retribution. They attach their own agenda. Yeah, they attach their own agenda to this case. It's even yeah. conspiracy yeah. theories being made up now. A man is dead. Yeah. A woman is in jail. A brother showed the greatest level of compassion I've ever seen since Martin Luther King. And a and father all, said the dumbest shit I've ever heard and, as a father. And all y'all can and all y'all can say is, <laughs> oh shit, white lady, da, 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 da. like man, please. Please, can we step back from this thing? So I feel like the for one second the situation is very it uh, really take complex. it really this look is at a complex situation. It's complex yeah. because Cause though cause I'm like this group of people are like stemmed from like hatred and like aggression. Like because it's more I blue than white. I also feel black. like it's very no, gray. It's, it's, but I uh, also feel like it is you though. can teach people ah. compassion. You can teach people Ooh. love. It's much more blue than it is it's black. It's very, white. very uh ah. complex. It's light blue. 
it's Bella. light blue. I give you light blue. Oh. I give you light blue. To Joshua Brown. And I feel like conspiracy theories are how we get to the truth. Now, see, I don't want to do that, though, man, because this is after the trial. So what difference would it make? Mm. It don't matter. You snitch, you snitch. It's light blue, man. You say stuff, you say stuff. You know, some people, some people it doesn't matter to. Some people it just doesn't matter to. You said it, bro. Mm-hmm. You said it and you wasn't supposed to say it. But who said that, though? No, I'm saying that's. The logic of some people. I'm not yeah, saying oh, like oh, somebody yeah. verbally. I like, don't. I, I I tried. I made it to a place where I tried not to subscribe. To right. It. Because y'all remember, rest in peace to Kanika Jenkins when she died. Yeah. Everybody and their mama on the internet swore they knew exactly what happened. Yeah. yeah I never I knew what happened, that. but I was mm-hmm. like, and I want to see so videos. That was so weird. Of it was. It was. It was like. Was it her buddies with an ecstasy pill gone bad and just threw her in there? Yeah. Was it a white man trying to get her organs that threw her in there? Mm-hmm. Was it a, you know what I'm saying, a Russian spy? Was it a she walked into the wrong room by accident and seen the orgy? It was wild. And, we was would, and guess what? Like, we will never have the answers in this situation. We will never have the answers. We will never have the answers. Because the, the people that we prosecuted for this shit don't know. The only thing that I can, uh, and I say this for lack of better terms, which is appreciate about these cases is that conversations are being had. And I think if you yeah. know me, you know, like, now I'm 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 in a place where I want conversations to be had, and I appreciate conversations being had. So, Kanika, people my age were like, hey, hey, we don't hey. really want to go to Rosemont. People won't care about us. With the, with the, with the Botham James thing, it's like... Botham John. Botham John. It's like we really want to have these conversations. We want to figure out what happened. We want to mm-hmm. understand how the law works. We want right. to... So Jason Van Dyke. Okay, did he do his job? Did he not do his job? He got he got charged with um, this, but he didn't get charged with this, which is contradictory. Like it's contradictory. Like mm-hmm. so, so I I don't mean to change the subject completely, but I am. So we gotta bounce anyway. I've been doing this for a year and a half now, right? Well, let's close this out properly before you go to the next subject. All right, all right. All right. Rest in peace to Botham John. Yes. Right. And the biggest part of this is we got to see the humanity of the man, and he was actually a good person, and his character wasn't misconstrued. Right. I, yeah, I, I feel I like guess, when you're I guess character. I just don't want to. I just don't want to have to keep saying. We don't want to fight y'all. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying yeah. like, black people are compassionate people. Black don't stop. Yeah. Don't like yeah. we've been here. Yep. Y'all keep fucking with us. <laughs> And we keep <laughs> not, not going there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, We're not going to go there. You know what I'm saying? Like, stop it. Overall. Let us let us just breathe the air. You know what I'm saying? Let, oh. Like, let us just put our feet in the grass. Overall, <laughs> the lesson, I think, of this whole thing, or not a lesson, but um, a lesson of the situation <laughs> is when your character is um polished and when your character uh speaks for itself Mm -hmm. no regrets and no no hardships can come against it that's why his family they couldn't turn him into into anything so that i and i think like the people around you have peace as well Mm -hmm. when your character speaks for itself and i think that's why his family was able to say like hey Yep. We straight. You straight in my book. You did what you did, but you straight in my book. I guess what? I, I don't have. If 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 you go today, you go today. Like me and John was solid. I don't have nothing to say to John. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Uh-huh. Me and me and Tom solid. I don't have nothing to say to Tom. We we solid. Mm-hmm. Yeah, groovy baby. Yeah. So um, all right. Now that we've we've finished that, that's an ongoing conversation. Have this conversation if you're watching this with the, your family and your yeah. loved ones. But we got to move on. All right. All right. Um, so so now I've been doing this for. A year and a half, right? Mm-hmm. And there's a lot of uh, uh, slang terminology, right? Yeah. I watch Daily Mail. Like, I watch Daily Mail to try to get controversial with y'all because they, like, <laughs> you know, they say some bullshit. Yo, know? you just got to, like, work your way through it. Yeah. But as I'm asking both of y'all because okay. you just said it and you're good with words. But <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying that, man. And basically, so, and basically. <laughs> so how do you get to a place? Like, that's the question, because I don't know, like, I'm never going to say, you feel me? Mm-hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, I, I, you, of course you understand what I'm saying. I just fucking said it. Try like, it. I wouldn't be talking to you if I thought you didn't understand what I was saying. But, but, but understood ain't got to be said. Exactly. Ooh. 
<laughs> so, like, when people say, yeah, I'm, I've just gotten to a place where I just, I, I'm moving more emotionally than physically. Like, what the fuck does it mean that you've gotten, how the, how the fuck did you get to this place? How did you get to this place? How do you get to a place? To move emotionally, not physically? No, like, how do you just, how do you get to a how place? How do you transition? I've just moved to this, I'm, you know, I'm in a space right now where I'm, I'm eating more green food than brown food, so well, I, I think stay away from no, the it's beef. A lot of decision the, making. I think it's what you talked about earlier. But like, like, like how how do you say it? Like, like, what do you what do you mean when you say I'm in a space? I'm in a space. I'm in a place. I've just made it to a place. I've just made it to a space. People don't want to say transition because it's too many letters. No, we t- we cuz like, bro, like I'm eating green. I made a decision to eat green. I've made it to a space where I want to be in a healthier place. So it's exhausting not being in that space. Yeah. It's exhausting being in a space where like, like traveling you the angry all the time. An oasis. It's yeah, exhausting being in a space yeah. where you hostile. It's right. exhausting being in a space where you eating bullshit. All John knows because this like, man done transitioned throughout food journey. Man, it's exhausting. so so. All right, so you need to make a decision. Right now, I understand that all three of us are in different spaces. Fact. You know what I'm saying? Like, right now, I woke up this morning with the intentions of watching football, mm-hmm. drinking a lot, which my girl came out of nowhere and made a great breakfast, and we ate. You know what I'm saying? Like, so I, when I got here to drink, I was able to drink as much as I wanted, and yeah. I'm I'm good, you know. But um, you. You're off the carbs. You're off the liquor. You're off the. You know what I'm saying, when you say you're gonna do something, you do it. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying, and then you, you was on the liquor last night, <laughs> so today you wake up like, uh, I don't. Uh, I was a know? parent last night. And I then, do not do alcohol around my child. Uh, huh? All right, all right, all right. Yeah. Well, you said you was hungover though. You no, was just tired. I didn't. I never said I was hungover. Ah, oh, damn. See, I, I'm Two speaking. Two Cup Breezy is on vacation. <laughs> well, I'm off vacation, but. Uh, yeah. yeah. Two Cup Breezy this is, is on vacation. Brianna DeMarco. <laughs> Brianna DeMarco. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> right here. Right here. <laughs> 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 so, you know what I'm saying? Like, so now I understand we're all in different spaces. So uh-huh. if you were to say, I'm in a space that I just feel like, you know, two plus two is four, and that's what everybody needs to know. Because most of the people you're talking to are three years old, you mm. know what I'm saying? Then you're in a space where it's like, man, I don't want to go to Burger King. <laughs> I don't want to go to the liquor store. I don't want to go to, you know, the Popeyes. Like, it's, I understand where you're coming from because you're in that space and you're in that space. Right. And I'm, this is what I've been waiting all week to do is have this podcast with y'all and drink this liquor. Man, and, you know, yeah. Uh, it's brotherhood. You know? But, like, just the, I'm in a different space. I guess I'm I'm transitioning. I'm in a different space. I'm doing this. I'm doing that. It's like it's a good thing. It's a good thing. So yeah. before we get out of here, because we only got a couple yeah. minutes left, man. That's the so hold on. Two cup breezy is on vacation. Yeah. So Brianna the mama don't know that El Negrito is the Black Panthers album that just came out. Definitely Does is. she know who the Black Panther is? I, I thought we were talking about T'Challa. Oh, oh no. This we are is, talking about Akon. This, this is, about is the Faculty Lounge podcast. It is. At he the Faculty is. Lounge podcast, the Black Panther is Akon. Yes. Tell People me. in the break room, I don't think y'all know this, but mm-hmm. I have a big ass <laughs> yes. tattoo yes, on my fucking right arm <laughs> that says Wakanda. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, um, when they said Black Panther, I was like T'Challa. <laughs> no, right, look, we're talking who? about the actual Black Panther, who was actually an American citizen. Yep, from Cleveland, Ohio. No, 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 St. Louis, oh, Louis, Missouri. Yes. All right, so we got to go. So let's y'all want to get a rapid fire off real quick. Let's do it. All right, rapid fire. Let's oh, go. Matthew knows uh, got breast cancer, man. That's fucked up, man. Yeah, we should take a little more time with him. Um. You want to do that next week? We can do that next Matthew week. Matthew knows. That's all I had to say. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> there you go. All right. Three Mexicans shoot a black man for telling him to stop saying nigga. What you got, Anonymous? Fuck them. <laughs> Breezy. So typical Mexicans. 
Mexicans mm. shouldn't be saying nigga. You can call yourself a Cadillac. You can call yourself a hey. cowboy. You can hey. call yourself a hummingbird. Why do you call yourself a nigga? I follow a page called Fools Gone Wild. Yes, you do. Call yourself fools. Yeah. That's what fools call wild call themselves. Call yourself Cuco. anything. Hey, I'm a big fan of Cuco. Cuco is a Mexican artist. Mm -hmm. And he calls himself a fool. Yes. Like, he doesn't have to call himself niggas. He doesn't call women bitches and niggas and niggas this and... Nah, they fools and batas Look and inside your, Look and inside your Mexican self. Look, look at your inside... Mex Look, Look at your inside, Mexican father. No, and no, 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 no. know that you can't say nigga because you ain't black. Look and inside this, the this, whole that. other language you speak. Yes. You got a whole yeah. another a language whole you speak. Yo, I went to Shurs. Okay. <laughs> Sketches. Yeah. Being sued by <laughs> Nike for knocking off the MX. Anonymous. Bitch. <laughs> Breezy. <laughs> Thieving assholes. Y'all better not be out here wearing them sketches. Uh, Y'all better not make a bootleg faculty lounge t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> All right. LeVar Ball has been accused of embezzling $2 million from the big baller brand. Anonymous. It's my money. Let me get some. <laughs> <laughs> Respect your daddy, nigga. <laughs> Let me get some money. And finally, Will Smith releases a limited edition Shut up, man. apparel line. Bel Air Athletics. Athletics. Anonymous. Faculty lounge wear. <laughs> Breezy. Gotta cop some. Will Smith can do anything. <laughs> 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 all right, so that's all the time we got, man. Hey. Give hey. Him the, simmer uh, down, simmer down, simmer down. We're going to do new album, Summer Walker, over it. She said, somebody asked her, why did you name this album over it? She said, because that's how I feel. And that is how we all feel. Um, Akon dropped a new album. Hey, Victory Lap um, took five years El to Negrito. come out. Yeah, he yeah I haven't uh, heard it. I Dominican, haven't heard it. Dominican, say it the right way. El Negrito. There we go. Uh, Chris <laughs> Brown extended Indigo. My yes, favorite which, album of 2019. Which uh, uh, John Jay will be excited about. We, oh, I get all my favorite new albums of off of title. So no, no, we are a Google, Google Play, Play family. They are, we are a Google Play family. I've just got initiated. So, also, um, I ain't heard Danny Brown new shit though. I'm, yeah, I have not I heard. Keep Danny. None of us really checked right out. None of us Q -tip really. Q-Tip produced that joint. None of us the checked whole out thing? the BET Awards, did we? Oh, no, no. no. Um, last, Isn't that a white man's company? I don't know. Last but not least, uh, better entertainment television. <laughs> 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 Boys eat tacos. <laughs> um, <laughs> yo, last but not least, I think oh, we're done. I think geez. we're out of here. It's been a, it's uh, been a, it's been a crazy week not having John Jay no. in the studio with us. Glad to be back. Thank um, you, thank you guys for uh, being so supportive of <laughs> me in my time of transition. Thank you for uh, returning. Yes. <laughs> so I'm back, bitch. <laughs> Episode uh, 67. No, 66 Six. next week. 66. Yeah. Yep. Next week. Yeah. Next week. Yeah. Next right. week. So uh, thank you guys. Make sure you follow us at the Faculty Lounge, at Anonymous, at underscore somebody dot breezy. I did she I take out the, the dot? I yeah, took, out, she the took dot. out the dot. Oh, so I took out the dot. So yo. it's at underscore breezy at, at underscore breezy. somebody. Look, look, breezy. That follow me on Twitter uh, and on Instagram. Yeah, somebody breezy. It's gonna be different next week. We are uh, gonna WLC figure some merch, shit out. WLC merch dropping. Yeah. Yes. Hey. Uh, on the should I say it? No. Nah. No, nah, don't say it yet. Okay. Don't say it yet. No yeah. release date quite yeah. yet. So make sure y'all subscribe, share, like, comment, and uh and as I finish my drink. Yo, holler at us, man. Let <laughs> us know what y'all want us to talk yeah, about. Yeah, yeah. In the comments, let us know what you want to hear and uh we'll see if we can get it on. Do but we agree? don't care what Do you, you think. Disagree? Because yeah. we are the lounge. So we make the rules. <laughs> hey, welcome to the now, break. Ain't room. no rules, man. Hey, 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 hold on. As a man with a lot of rules in his life, <laughs> yeah. go and give us the um, the breakdown of the October, November, December. Okay. All right. So I said it at the beginning of the show. I am doing Sober October. That means no drinks and no drugs for the entire month of October. It, after which I go straight into November, which we raise awareness for diseases that affect he men does these around things. the world. I will be shaving off my beard like I did last year. So if you've seen it last year, I will be looking 17 for a month. And after November is over, I'll be going into December to remember, and I'm going to cut the fuck up, and Daddy ain't got no rules. And Daddy ain't got daddy no ain't rules. Daddy ain't got no rules. <laughs> so with that, what time is it? It's time to get back to the student. As I finish my drink, it's time to get back to the student. It's been Peace. real. <laughs>